89 Nissan Sentra. Um, it's a 1.6 liter V4. And I'm gonna be, just go through the car and show you that everything on it does work. I've uh, fixed everything on it. And the only, the only issue now is the body. Um, it is from 89, it's that old. Uh, so obviously the body is gonna be rusted. Um, the frames, the frame's solid. I've jacked this car up in various places and it all works fine. It's not falling apart or anything. It's just the body panels, especially around the wheel wells, are pretty rusted out and there is a spot of damage on the back. Um, but first things first, we're gonna um, turn on the hazards, turn on the headlights, and we're gonna start the car up, listen to the idle, check out the engine bay, check out the exhaust, all that fun stuff, and then go from there. Alright, so here's the spot of damage on the back I was talking about. Brake lights work, turn signals work. Exhaust is clean. We're not burning any coolant or oil, so it's a solid engine. The uh, tail plate lights work. You can already see the headlights. They're actually pretty bright. That, that turn signal there, and that turn signal there, that works. There's no uh, misfires or jumps or skips or squeaks or hisses or hums or anything in this engine. It's actually really, uh, it sounds really good. Brake fluid is as clean as it can be. I've flushed this system out like 800 times. The only thing that doesn't work on that car right now is the rear brakes. I've got a uh, new brake shoes, new wheel cylinders. Let me just show you quick. Unless I put them away. I think I put the wheel cylinders away for now. But here's new brake shoes, here's the old wheel cylinders, and I'm just waiting on the hardware kit in the mail, which is the springs and the that type of stuff. Uh, and then once that comes in the mail in the next few days, I will put a Pretty much the entire braking system will be new, especially for the rear end, and then I will be replacing lines as needed. Um, so, for now, in order to just use the front brakes, I have made a piece of brake line that runs from these two ports, and those are where the rear brakes connect, and they just add pressure against themselves. So, I still have uh, front brakes on this car temporarily for the next few days until I get the rear brakes assembled. So that's that. Turn the lights off, turn the hazards off, turn the radio on. I've got some aftermarket Kenwood speakers. I think they're 150 watt, something or others. In the back there, if you can see them. So that works. this DC port works. If it doesn't, it's a simple wiring issue. It's an extremely simple circuit. There's a uh, mobile CB. The inside of this car is in immaculate condition. I wouldn't quite say a showroom new, but it's in very, very good shape. The only really cosmetic blemish in anything here is uh, this rip in the driver's seat here. 
but people throw seat covers over these all the time and nobody even notices. And uh, somebody taped up these handles for some reason. There's a little tiny uh, chunk of plastic missing right there by the key, but who's even going to look at that? So we'll rev it up quick. Even got the original owner's manual with it. You can see it's uh, faded out there. But it's still got all the information about the car. Got some extra keys with it. The tires are actually good. Let me let me show you these tires. They're actually still good. They still got a nice deep tread on them. It's really hard to see because this stupid camera doesn't like to focus on anything. And with that tire or with those uh, four good tires actually. We have another fifth one in the back, which is brand new. Still holds air. Rim's pretty rusty on that, but I, I looked at it and I checked it out and it's fine. Got the tire iron right there. We got the four-way and uh, scissor lift. I actually sprayed PB Blaster over the, all over this thing on every uh, surface that moves and went all the way up and down with it and I actually raised the car with it about an hour or so ago and it works just fine. I, honestly, uh, I'm thinking about just keeping it and I feel a bit bad for all the people who are so concerned about the car being absolutely perfect on the outside that they pass up this car because there's rust around the wheel wells. Guarantee you this thing is more reliable and runs better than 80% of the crap out there and for less than a thousand bucks What kind of idiot wouldn't pick it up? But I don't know if people want to buy cars based on colors and stupid stuff like that That's on them when it breaks There it is.